Hey folks, Phil Plate from Bad Astronomy here. Yeah, so yesterday, let's see, today is Tuesday, August 5th. So yesterday, Monday, August 4th, Politico.com had a story about the interim director of NASA, Sean Duffy, saying that he wants to put a nuclear reactor on the moon. And this generated a lot of responses, and uh, some of them were, you know, pretty much on the mark, and some weren't. And I want to be clear here about distinguishing between this idea of having a nuclear reactor on the moon and the idea of anybody involved in the Trump administration actually, you know, being able to do this and doing it correctly. Um, if we plan on having an extended presence on the moon, a human presence on the moon, uh, uh, people walking around, people living there on a base, exploring whatever, a nuclear power generator is the way it's going to have to be. Unless it's at one of the poles, like the South Pole, say, where we know there's ice buried and permanently shadowed craters there. At the South Pole, you can have solar panels that can track the sun because right as the moon spins once a month, the sun sort of moves around the horizon in a circle. And so you can just scan on it continuously and generate power that way. But anywhere else on the moon where you want to put up a scientific base, you're going to need power. And the lunar day is two weeks long. The lunar night is two weeks long. So you can't have solar power unless you have really good batteries. Uh, and the idea is nuclear power. Look, it's consistent. Uh, you don't need much. Um, you can generate um, a few dozen kilowatts, which is enough to run a few dozen houses, basically, um, or, you know, a scientific base. Uh, and so it's, it's not generating a huge amount of power. It's not going to be this immense system. It's actually going to be relatively small. Um, and those are not that hard to build. We've been putting them on nuclear submarines and, and our warships and everything for decades. So the technology exists. Um, now, of course, you have to launch this thing in a rocket and send it to the moon, and that's a whole other bucket of worms. I'm not going to get into that. It's hard. Um, but the idea itself of nuclear power generation on the moon is not ridiculous. It is a good idea if we want to take these steps to put a human presence on the moon. The thing is, uh, Sean Duffy's a bonehead, uh, right? He's, he's secretary of DOT right now, the Department of Transportation, and he goes on these Sunday morning shows talking about how he's terrified of going on the New York subway, despite all the evidence that, in fact, the New York subway is quite safe. This guy appears to be terrified of, of his own shadow. Um, he has no experience in space exploration or science, and so putting him in charge of NASA is, of course, what Trump did, because he wants to put boneheads in charge of all of the departments and agencies in, in an effort to destroy the government or do whatever uh, you know the cottage cheese in his head is telling him to do. Um, so I don't trust NASA right now to do this. In, in normal days, yeah, sure, and in fact, NASA has commissioned studies to put nuclear power on the moon. And there have been some interesting studies about that. Uh, it's not easy again, but it's possible. Uh, the other problem here is that thousands and thousands of scientists and engineers are leaving NASA because of Trump's boneheaded cuts to all of these agencies. And there are literally thousands of NASA people leaving. And these are the folks who have the experience and the brain power to be able to do this kind of stuff. So that makes me even less confident that uh, you know NASA in the near future is going to be able to do this. To be clear, still a big NASA fan. I still think we should be exploring space and doing all this stuff. Um, but everything Trump touches turns to crap. And so I do not trust that uh, this is the kind of thing that's going to happen, uh, or at least happen correctly. And to be honest, I doubt it's going to happen at all. Presidents and, and new administrators always make these big promises, and then reality sets in, and they realize they can't actually do them, and they have to scale way back. Um, so nuclear power plant eventually, sure. Right now, uh -uh. and we don't even have the engineering capability to do it right now anyway. So I, I just don't think this is that big of a deal. Thanks for listening.